Hi, welcome back to Cold Cage Villains. So today we have the JJRC Q60. So a couple of weeks ago we viewed the 61. So this is a six wheel drive version. So let's have a look at the truck first. So it's obviously longer than the, six, than the 61 and it's got six wheel drive. So it has one drive unit in the center and then it has three differentials. Now what I do like about this, the back suspension springs are separate so if that side goes down you can still have that side going up which makes it better for climbing and going over things uh, similar layout so you've got the universal joints between you've got front front leaf spring suspension and there's your adjustment for your steering because it's got um, dump off the steering so you've got just it's on or off same with the throttle unfortunately but we can live with that with the cost so th when I bought this I got it on bank I got it from did I get it from bank either bank or gear I can't remember £22.40 on special offer for that it's a no brainer to me I think like I said in the first video these very much remind me of my childhood and that's why I'm really into them I've also ordered the 62 and the 63 to review but they haven't arrived yet so let's have a look at the detail of this thing so it's got rubber tyres and they're actually quite soft and you can probably tell from that they're nice feeling tyre they're not plastic kit so you've got opening doors so have a look inside so you can see the detail you can actually see there you've got steering wheel because it pedals on the floor so it's not the detail's quite good it has rubber mirrors that fold so they're not going to snap off if when you have a crash again the door opens on the other side you can see inside there it's your door hinges so it is quite well made and then it has a drop back so again it's not bad detail so in the front it obviously has an opening opening bonnet because in here is the battery so it has a 700 milliamp 6 volt and it just you can the battery stays in here you connect it in here and then it just plugs in there I do like the ones where they go under the bonnet I much prefer it when they're underneath and then you've got your on and off switch under here and you can see it's got headlights but let's just show you them properly the transmitters quite cheap and plastic exactly the same one you get with the 61 uh, not the best transmitter in the world but adequate for what it is and you've got to remember the price you paid for this so we'll turn that on and we'll just flick on underneath there you go so it's connected so you've got working headlights at the front so I'll just show you underneath the drivetrain as it moves so I don't know if you can see that properly it's quite smooth in operation as you can see and then obviously you've got forward and reverse but what I do like about this is the suspension's quite feels quite nice and then you're steering all or nothing obviously and the same with the throttle now you can quite easily I believe do a mod where you replace the servo in, you put a servo inside here and a different mount on here and that will give you proportional steering but for what you pay for it you're not going to be really bothered are you so it's really nicely finished off. I think for the money, you can't really go wrong. It's, you've got to remember, it's a budget price. It's very much a budget price. I like the green colour. Uh, the other one I think I bought in grey, if I remember rightly. But yeah, I got this one in green. But yeah, I really like it. So let's go take it outside and have a play with it. And then we'll come back after that and we'll, I'll tell you what I think.
Hi, welcome back. So you've seen it drive. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed in this, to be honest. I've got the two wheel, the four wheel version. This it's got a lot more. It seems to have a lot more pull, a lot more torque. This was very disappointing, especially when I put a bit of weight in the back. Uh, I had to keep taking weight back out of it. Certainly won't do 500 grams, and it, it was just keep. It was getting stuck all the time. It wasn't so much it was getting stuck. It just hadn't got the power. There's no guts to it. It looks really good. Um, but yeah, as so much as I can say that it looks really good, it looks better now it's got dirty obviously, but yeah, I'd probably say it's more of a, a looker. Uh, I might actually use this one to convert because I think this could be the, rather than the four wheel drive one, I might convert a six wheel one and put a motor speed controller and a servo in it and let's have a play with it that way and I think it could be a whole, whole lot better. But yeah, so out of the box, nah, not too good. Not for me really, but for the money I suppose it's a good shelf piece. Uh, that's about as much as I could say to it. But stay tuned because I probably will convert this one. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.